Hi, I'm Melba. I'm here in my garden and I can't wait to show you how I love to grow veggies vertically. I'm going to show you five different ways to make some beautiful statement in my garden. I like to grow things, but I also want them to look good. Before we get going, I just want to say if you have any questions, be sure to ask them below. I'll be sure to answer as soon as I get your messages and try to help you or guide you with whatever I can. This is my narrowest point in my garden and I love to grow in arches. So let's go through how I did this to be able to get as much as I can from this point of my garden. The sun is a challenge, so I needed to get creative to make this work. In this narrow space growing vertically, I can get the most out of the sun and I am able to harvest a huge amount of vegetables, which I would not be able to do if I just grow on my garden bed. I will show you how to do it and all it takes is just some cattle fencing and a wood piece, a pole of some sort, you can use steel if you want, to hold it. I like to buy the cattle fence that has the biggest holes. It is just a lot better for me and it allows more light to come through. Once you have everything ready, then go ahead and cut your cattle panel to the size that you want. After I have everything installed, I go ahead and put the staples on. These hold so well throughout the bad weather that we get here throughout the seasons. It's been a few years I've had this up and it's holding up. These staples are really easy to put on and I think you will be happy with the way that it supports the cattle fencing. I love to grow tomatoes and beans on these and this year I have other plans for it but I did get such a big harvest. The best thing is when you make the fencing you use something that is deep you can put a couple different crops within the same one which is what i did here with this sunset runner bean and a scarlet runner bean as you design your garden with the trellises think about lighting and how that can transform the space at nighttime take a look at the video i will link above about designing your small garden and the process to take and what lights i use in my own garden when I add this type of thing of trellises, I'm always thinking about pollinators. It is important if you have a small space to provide something for those bees that are gonna pollinate and give you as much food as you can get. I got so many cherry tomatoes this past season that I had to freeze so much of it, but I do think I have new plants that I'm excited about. I will be growing cherry tomatoes this year, but a little differently. I will be sharing a lot more details of what I'm planning this year on some upcoming videos, so stay tuned. This is where it all began. This is the first project I actually asked my husband to help me with, was creating this garden bed, but more importantly, creating the vertical garden that's above. A great thing about doing vertical panels is that you're getting sun all the way around the panel. I love that you get sun on the front and the back so you get even more vegetables that grow. This happens on the arch trellis but it tends to go into shade on the bottom of it. But on vertical panels you tend to get light all the way through. This doesn't only look beautiful but I was able to grow a lot of cucumbers, the English cucumbers. This is a super sturdy idea because it can take a lot of weight. Once you have cut your wood to the length that you need, use the staples to go ahead and staple the cattle panel onto the wood. We screw the two panels together, almost like sandwiching the metal fencing in between. It has lasted so long. This is one of the best ideas I've had. Mainly because it allowed me to grow so much more and it became a focal point that I can see from the inside of my home as I'm in the kitchen and see what is going on. On the base, I can grow so much from flowers to other vegetables like pepper and they can get plenty of light. It doesn't interfere with the lighting. To attach the panel, since we get a whole lot of wind, we just dug a large hole and added rocks and made this little pointy end. And that has supported all the way through now and we have no issues with it. 
One of the things to keep in mind is when you build this that you can access the back of it or one side of it so that you can harvest the fruit or veggies that grow on it. You can see here the side of it, how it's sandwiched in between and it's two pieces of wood and that keep it very, very sturdy. And as you look down, we just bury the back of it. If you feel like it's not going to support the weight or it's very, very windy where you're at, you can also add a garden post on the back of it to go ahead and secure it. The sun comes from the side and the way that I placed it, then the sun hits the back of the panel and it hits the front of the panel. Unlike the arch trellises, which are great, but once it gets really, really dense, then the bottom of the panel doesn't get as much sun. This has to be one of my favorite ways to grow in a small garden. If you have an apartment, if you have a townhome, a balcony, a super tiny garden, green stalks are incredible. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, but I absolutely adore them. You can just grow just about anything. All my salad greens for my bunny and the family, I grow all of it in here. It is so easy to use. They're stackable, you can move them anywhere you want. So if this area doesn't work and you're finding that it's not getting enough sun for what you want to grow, you can take it apart and move it somewhere else. Also, the watering is really easy. You water it on the top and it just disperses the water all the way down evenly, which is just a really big bonus if you don't know how to water your plants very well yet. So this to me is one of the best things I have ever gotten. If I had even more space, I'd probably put like three or four of these <laughs> in my space, but I don't have the space to put that many because I want other things in the garden. But maybe, maybe I'll get another one. <laughs> If you like what you're watching, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you can, press the notification bell. It will notify you when I post every single week. Airspace in my garden is part of my garden. I'm gonna show you other ways to go ahead and incorporate airspace in what you're doing in your garden bed. Garden trellises are not only beautiful, but look how much height you can gain by using a really tall one and large one in your garden bed. These have added so much of what I can grow on my raised garden bed. I use this on all the raised garden beds that I just installed. I have one on the center one and I have two where I grow tomatoes and plan to grow other things next season. Now, I want to know what is your favorite vertical gardening idea or which one have you done that has worked so well? Look how much more I can grow right under. Not only do I prevent diseases for growing on my vegetables, but I can grow on the perimeter of this smaller type of bed and get a pretty good harvest out of it. You can make vertical gardening as simple as a complicator if you want. I like to keep it simple. If you're a beginner gardener, try not to get frustrated coming up with these complicated ideas. You don't need a lot to be able to get something that will work in being successful with growing a lot of vegetables or making a space look pretty. Remember that you can do something that's customized like I did the panels or you can buy a trellis and just place it in your garden bed. Do what you can so you won't be frustrated with gardening. The garden experience is something that you want to enjoy and not be stressed about. This last solution is a perfect example of when you keep something very simple and it makes such a big statement. We decided to grow eggplants on a container this year and this mini eggplants became a great highlight for the garden. The trellis highlighted the piece in the little living room setup of the garden and we just enjoy harvesting every time we came out.
Always remember, keep living your dream in that small garden. Thank you.